go to pickmonkey.com click create new choose blank canvas for a size just use the default 2000 by 2000 pixels in that way your resolution will be better then click make it then give it a name and a home you can for this project let's choose word logo and then choose a folder that you'd like this to be put in if you want to organize and put a folder name then click create so the very first thing that would appear is you will have this white canvas make sure that the background you will set it as transparent and it will look like this so again the moment that white canvas shows as you click here in the background click open background palette pick a color and make sure you check this box that says transparent doing this way is you will not forget before you download to make your logo have a transparent background because if you don't have that transparent background you will have a big white space when you put the logo on your website business cards social media graphics letterhead or wherever you choose to use your logo so having this transparent background will allow you to only showcase that logo wherever you put it now for a beginner i would always recommend here since we're doing a word logo i would always recommend for a beginner to use the available templates and you work from there to customize so for this there's different styles of templates for a text logo that you can use so let's start here for example this one this is a, a nice design and it has this curve or this arc that creates a different style so from here you just have to double click and that will allow you to work individually so from here if this is not your brand we can make probably here star if you so that's what you do and to change and customize the color of the font you click here under this text this color and you can customize it from there if your brand color is pink now to change this arc all you have to do is click double click that and you it will allow you to type so just for the sake of tutorial this is a random words and then you click again so there you have and again change the color from here and you can use the same color that you just recently used by choosing the color down here where it says recently used or you can choose color around this um, color palette now so if you want to change this bottom art you just double click it again double click and highlight that and you can delete and change it so and then after you type double click again and there it goes to change the color click the word choose this black circle here the number you see here is the hex number for that color and you can choose again from the recently used color that you have so there you go your your uh, logo for a word and i just want to show you that this art on the top is not this it seems like not the same so you for you to know if those are the same arc measurement you click here click that word 
and then under effects you see here curve text the check is inside the box click that one click that arrow you see the curvature is plus 45 degrees of the arc so go down here at the bottom on that photography again click effects curve text and you see it says negative 50 so you can change that to you can change that by pressing this reduce uh, and you can change so now it says 45 and there they look more the same you can drag this box of the text box up and down you just have to click and drag it if you want this to make it bigger you click that text box click this one and click the bottom and stretch it so and they will be uh, the size would change as a whole group and you there's your logo don't forget to download click download here and choose that png in that way you will keep the transparent background so click download and it will be under your download computer of your folder now if you would like just to have a simple logo you can just choose to click this box here and hit delete and same thing for this one the bottom and you can only have this logo here and you can adjust this to make sure that it's on the center and if you see that red line that means that center and move it to the side and you know that your logo is right in the middle and then of course you can make it bigger by dragging the corners of the rectangle so there you have a very simple logo you can choose the different type of font as well if you don't like this font you can choose it from here say this kind of logo and a font for this logo and if you like to change the size click this number here so there you have a different type of font and a different size so the next type of logo is the contour logo this is the logo where the brand name is within the geometric shape example to that is ikea and samsung so for this tutorial let's create the graphics choose here on this column graphics and choose basic and from there you can see different shapes and i will choose this oval shape you drag it from the side and you change the color from here this black dot you can choose from the color you previously used on other projects that represents your brand or you can choose it from here the number here on the top is the hex color so if you like that to be used throughout your design just write it down so you, it will be uniform okay from this you have this shape now go to text you can choose from the template to make it easier for you or you can add your own text So you can choose from the design here at the template right there to start off and you change the font you can do that by clicking individually you can click that and delete delete that individual box and leave this to change the color of this font make sure you highlight that and click here and you can make it white so there you have your contoured logo of course again you can change the different type of font highlight it choose it from this drop down right now it was a times 
new roman so you can change that and let's say chivo you can do that and you can also try change whether bold italic if you want bold or bold italic and you can change the size as well so the third type of logo is using symbol only so just like the contoured logo click under graphics and you can choose from the different types of categories for the sake of this tutorial let's choose basic this time i will choose this pentagon you can choose that one but since we did that already for the oval i want to choose a different one for the sake of this tutorial let's do this this the difference here is the color is only the border unlike the oval that we choose earlier with it's entirely the color inside is colored for this case let's change the color of the border from the black we can change it to yellow and if you want to change the color inside this border you can do so you see right now it says that it is a transparent so click that one and you can choose from the color that you already have or from a or choose it from the palette so like if you want to change the border you didn't like that shade of yellow just click that one and move it to make it however you like the design to represent your brand okay so now you have the color inside and the border and if you want to add more design to that you could choose from the different designs here so let's say for example I'll say you, there's plenty here that you can choose so let me you can also search from here so if I use heart so it will come up with a different heart design so let's use this padlock heart so there it goes my design under this padlock is inside and you can choose the color if you don't like that black color in, th in there you can change it so you now have a symbol logo if you are new to the business I would say that when you create a logo make sure that you have your your text logo unless you're of course you're already well known and you're an established brand then you can just go with using a symbol logo so the fourth type of logo is the combination where it has the symbol and the word text so this type of logo is what we see for Lacoste so for this case we can do we can just use this symbol here again you click the object hold and ar arrange this as a group or individually okay so if you want to do that individually you can do so drag it here drag that object and then drag this one too. okay and then you go to text you can choose here from the template to make it easy for you or you can just add text here and it will you can uh, arrange it and type however you want it okay so if you don't want to do that you can just click at the bottom undo and change it from the design here so for the for this let's choose this one 
and again th this is a group of tags so what you will do is just click and then you can click that individually and click delete individually and delete so you're left only with this text and you can change this font color to reflect your brand if you don't like this type of font you can choose it from here different types of font just have to drag it down okay and whether regular bold italic bold italic and you can also change the size of the font make it 200 smaller and drag it you can change this you highlight and change it my mom photography so as you can see the letters are far from each other so you can change the letter spacing from here and you will see how they ch change and this is now one line so if you want to two lines you can click here and press enter but of course if you also make this bigger that it will not fit the rectangle you change the size here and that will separate you can change the size from here too and type all right so if you don't like that size click undo and download